rocking with Zab. If you're really rocking with me, go out your way and subscribe <laughs> to the new YouTube channel. It's this total. And come out your way and, you know, check out the best content that you're going to be having in the country. It's you. a new podcast, guys. I want to put that out. Brand new podcast. New. Brand new. Before champions. And our goal is to get the current champion that's in the game right now and to get the newer guys that you're already crossed over to be champions. To give them a platform to come on here and a voice to speak and be heard. You know what I mean? So all new guys that's out there that feeling like, oh, my record is only 4-0, 6-0, 8-0, 10-0, pull up. Or 4-1, 4-2, 4-0. Uh, fuck it. I'll give you one and eleven, whatever. Pull up. Cause these are the people that you know. what I'm saying Zab Super Judah, Mill City Boxing are uh, set out to talk to and talk about. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we're gonna have the elites on here. We're gonna have the greats on here. We're gonna have everybody. We're gonna have OGs on here. We're gonna get you know what I'm saying former champions, current champions. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have it all. We're gonna have some of the greatest women boxers of the of of the world speaking on this platform. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already, y'all already know what we can already do. We can already turn up to the Mizak. So everybody subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Hit the, hit the uh, follow button. And also hit the notification button so that you can make sure you tuned in when you see when Zab Judah and Milsey Popper. Because y'all know me. I'm radical. So I don't have a set time of when my show comes on. I'm radical. I'm radical. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit might just... Shit might pop off. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It might three, three, four in the morning. You know what I'm saying? You might be sleeping. That's you. Before, before champions are talking, and they have some great information to talk about. You know what I mean? So I just want everybody to know. You know what I'm saying? Just subscribe now. Check us out. Follow us. You know, people that love us. We love you. You love us. And um, you know what I'm saying? If you don't love us, we still love you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, no matter what, we're not here for that. We're here to give you all the greatest and the biggest and the best opinions of sports that we can give y'all. That's it. Mm-hmm. And I, we started Feed it up. My boy way. said, shout to Vlad. Vlad GT34. Feed the, what he said? He said, feed the Russians. I love the Russians. Big shout out to Russia. My people. You know, um, this was a, an idea that I was set to do something in the beginning, but I, I you know, it, it turned into something else. And now going back with Zab, we bringing it back and giving it back. Every boxer got their own story, ladies and gentlemen. So we want to be able to hear y'all and give you guys that opportunity, especially if, hey, yo, I'm about to take uh, my first time to be on TV. I'm going to be on the undercard of this, 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 and that. Come check in. You have check to check in. in. The big dogs are checking in. Why aren't the little That's dogs right. checking in? If you, feel the, if you feel the media is not messing with you or dealing with you, you're not getting the right press and the right this, and you got some shit to say, pull up. Before check DM. In, ladies and gentlemen, DM. subscribe. DM us. DM us. Tell us, yo, I got a fight coming up with X, Y, and Z, and I'm looking to put out X, Y, and Z. And let's go. The platform is yours. Professional your shit. boxers. Talk your shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And like I said, we got so much things new coming in. I mean, Zab, we we have so many ideas. I don't want to give them out. You know what I mean? I don't want to give them out right now. But once you see what happened, Zab, we're we opened up the Mayweather interview came up. We just had Shannon Briggs tap in a couple seconds ago. We, you know what I mean? Definitely, we're definitely not going to give you guys 4-1 yard what we got planned because there's thieves out here, guys. There's thieves. They're pirates. They're pirates. They're riding around in a little fucking boat. And they're trying to jump on big ships, you know what I'm saying, and take over. Ships. So we're not going to let these little guys, you know, un know that what we got going, you know, people that know us know that, you know what I'm saying, we, we go, if you know how we give it up, we go for the biggest and the best. That's mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? We try to pull off the unobtainable. <laughs> Let's say that. You know? We're pulling off the unobtainable. The stuff people think that can't happen, we're going to show them it can Mm -hmm. Now, yep. also on the segments that we do have, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give you guys, the people, the time to speak. Go chop it up with Zab. Go meet Zab for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, we give you guys that in the last 20 minutes of the segment. We're going to be starting to do these segments for an hour long. So if you do miss on IG Live, you go back, go on to YouTube, 
and type in before champ and you could see the whole visual right there you know um but let's get into the other news and then we can tap the people in so here it is tank davidson uh frank martin press conference yesterday what was your thoughts i like it i like the. i like it it's aggressive it's aggressive you got two pit bulls you got two rock wallers in it and they aggressive you know what i'm saying don't put your hand on my face don't touch me don't reach your hand out to me i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna beat your ass this is boxing at a high level you know, I like how Frank Martin came in there and he was, you know, he was he was on his shit. But Tank came in there on his thug dizzle. You know what I'm saying? He came in there to show the world, listen, man, I've been through a lot of shit lately. I got a lot, of, I've been locked up, I've been in courts, I've been, you know, tr trouble, promotional problems. You know what I'm saying? I want to come back and show the world who the fuck I am. I'm Tank, I'm big Tank and I get busy. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's 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 what he's setting up to do right now. You know, he's looking to come back, and, and you know what I'm saying, and and, and 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 keep his spot as the face of boxing. And you know what I'm saying, and you know, I mean, I mean, listen, the guys, the guys doing well. You know what I'm saying. When you look at that 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 press conference, does it does it does it do you get anything out of it? Do you feel like oh, tanks? Do you, you know, some of my friends were like, "Hey, oh shoot, Tank looked like he in a real fight right now." What, what you, what you think? What, what do you, wait, wait, say it again. A lot of my boxing buddies, they're like, "Yo, you know, Tank in a real fight right now." Like, they, they're really interested in what's gonna happen June fifteenth. I think the Frank Martin fight is gonna be more interesting and more ex expectation than people think. You know, I think that. Yeah, the fight gonna be very exciting. The fight gonna be very exciting. You know what I'm saying? Taking the muscle, you know, with the energy he brings, and we know Frank Martin understands the level of where he's at. He understands what a win over Tank right now can do for his career. He understands, you know, what I'm saying, just to be in there, stand up, and show nuts and guts. The opportunities that can happen after this, you know what I'm saying? So I think that you know Frank's gonna come in there and he's gonna uh, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna do his best. And show nuts and guts, 100%. Do you, do you think that this, by any means, when you say it's a close fight, do you go off of it say like it's a 50-50, a game tester? I mean, listen, we got to give Tank the knockout power. We got we to gotta give that because, you know what I'm saying, I mean, he's shown and proved that, you know, in the fights that he was in, he was able to cancel Christmas with one shot. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, we, we got to look at that as Tank being a guy like that. You know what I'm saying? Frank Martin, he hasn't showed us that yet. You know what I'm saying? But he has showed us durability. He has showed us skill. He has showed us determination. He has showed us. And I always, you know, I love that he's always a, a in shape guy. When he comes to the ring, he's always ripped. He's always ready. He's always, you know, he's totally game. You know what I'm saying? So I think that, yo, he's going to be a, a, a high level action packed. 100%. Better than a lot of people anticipate. You know, um, hearing Tank and them talk on the press conference, what did you get on the moment of, like, they had a moment of watching their sparring together, mad close. Like, it was like, I'm in your face, I'm in your face, but then it's like, we, like, this close watching this shit together at the same time. I mean, I, I, so, like, I think I, it was a moment. What do you think about I, that moment? Let me tell you, so as fighters, do we hate each other? And when I, no, you don't. You honor and love, love a man that helps you feed your family. Remember that. Everybody remember that. That's yes. heavy. But, but do fighters want to knock each other out and, and destroy each other and, and, and conquer? Yes. That's the, that's the sport that we choose. This, this, is a, this is a conquer sport. Mano to mano, man to man. You know what I'm saying? You know, men win this fight. You know what I mean? So I think that we've seen a level of a level of uh, guys coming in there showing that, yo, I'm here to win, bro. I, ain't, I ain't, I'm not fucking around. I ain't playing with you. I don't like you. I mean, but I don't hate you because the hatred, the not hatred showed when it was sharing the moment with the phone. That showed that there is no real hatred. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't hate you because when you hate a person, I don't give a, I'm not showing you nothing. I'm not showing you nothing. Me, I'm me. I'm different. I'm, I'm a, you know, I get mad, I'm, bro. We, ain't, we I ain't showing you nothing. 
Matter of fact, they already knew certain fights that I had so, and my energy was certain things, they can't be together. Don't put them nowhere near each other. I want you guys to go back and watch the Mayweather Judah. Go back and watch it. Me and Floyd never got, they never, even when we, even when they brought us in the ring, they had security in the middle of the fucking ring blocking them. They made a line to block his side to my side before the fight started, just so nothing could happen. We had to stay in different hotels. We had to, uh, you know, it was, it, it was, it was crazy. You know, it got, it got kind of bad for a second, but this is what I'm, I'm only saying that to say, this is what top level boxing looks like. Top level fighters looks like before a fight. I don't fuck with you. I don't like you. I'm going to destroy you. But do I hate you? No, nah, I don't hate you. Do I wish any harm or, or, or malice on your life or anything? No, I don't. hundred percent. I need you to get your ass to the ring. So I can make this money, you know what I'm saying, and embarrass you. So you know, with that being said, you know, it's just it's just the sport, brother. It's it's it's, it's the sport. It's the it's the attitude. It's the it's, it's the knit the grunt. You know what I'm saying? It's real. It's real. What can I say? It's real shit. Real emotions. You know, oh, real exactly. Real emotions. And speaking upon real emotions, I mean, we seen that you know, AB was in the building as well. Nice to see him and Tank, you know, staying cool. But in the same time, you know, what Tank said in the media, did you feel like Tank, uh, did you feel like Frank got a little bit of offended when he made that comment upon that little, the only thing that we have in common, because, you know, he from the suburbs, so the only thing we got in common is that little thing that, you know, he be messing with, you know what I mean? You know, I mean, I'll, go, I'll get at her later. All, I'll get at her all, later. Like, talk to me. All, talk to all me. That, all of that psychological war psychological warfare, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he put Frank on eggshells with his woman, and now Frank is, you know what I'm saying, looking at, he probably looking at his woman sideways, like, hold up, hold up, what the fuck is going on? How you know this motherfucker right here? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? It's one of them things. He's like, hold on, hold on. he's from Baltimore. You in Houston. How the fuck you know this dude over here? You know what I mean? We got you out? Yeah, 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 you out? Yeah, you know what I mean? So I think that, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's it's high level chess, high level chess. So all everything goes, everything goes. There's nothing off limits. It might get even spookier. You might. I mean, listen, we see Brona and Paulie go through this shit with the, you know, with the girl, and then the girls left him and came in with the other dude. You know what I'm saying? So shit like this is psychological warfare, and when you competing at the biggest and the best height of, of sports, shit like this happens. Gotta have tough skin. Gotta have tough skin. 100%. 100%. Um, I feel like if your woman chews up, if your woman chews up on you, then that, then you know you know what to do. I mean, that wasn't evidently the right situation for you. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. It's all good. Now, they obviously, they sparred in the Mayweather gym. You know, the, you know, it was a kind of a shocker to certain people hearing that Tank said the only thing you got is that brick. And he, Frank kind of misunderstood what he was saying. But regardless of the fact, he was giving them a compliment, letting them know that you got a, a brick in your hand. You know what I mean? Um, what do you think about that? Just knowing that Frank has kind of bragged about him having the best shot in that sparring match. And you know, right now you got Tank complimenting him upon his punching power. I mean, listen, Tank, you know, I mean, when you real, you real. You know, there's, there's no violence in saying a, a fighter punches hard. Yo, listen, we know that. We can look at your fights and see what you do. You know what I'm saying? He could, Frank Juan could have said the same thing about Tank. Like, yo, you hit hard. Or you got a brick. I'm going to watch out for that. You know what I'm saying? Tank told him first. I know what you got. You got that brick. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready for that. I'm ready for that. You know what I'm saying? He just letting them know that we studied you. We, you know what I'm saying? We we know where you're coming from. We know how you power shots. We know your best attributes that you got going on. And and we're going to try to, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, take, that, take that out and take that to the next level. And that's it. I like it. 